I'm Tom Sherber with the University of Minnesota Building America team. We're standing in front of a house in North Minneapolis where we've had the opportunity to apply some of the research that we've been working on in the Building America program. And one of the measures we've had the opportunity to apply here is an exterior insulation system for the foundation. And it combines a, a, a precision trench and foam insulation all the way down to the basement footing. The reason we do the insulation on the outside is we can better control heat loss, air leakage, and moisture intrusion around the entire foundation. And most people know that a new construction, that's how it's done. It's always insulated on the outside. For existing homes, in order to insulate the outside of the, ins uh, of the foundation, you have to expose the foundation. You have to dig a large trench. A backhoe can cause a lot of damage in the yard and it's very expensive to repair that damage. Then you've got to backfill and um, it's, it's a lot of work. So we came up with the concept of using a hydrovac truck to create a trench with minimal damage. And what they do is they use high pressure water to slice the soil. It creates a mud slurry and they're able to vacuum it out like a, like a large shop vac. Some of the obstacles that we encounter in digging a four inch trench is rocks, roots, and sidewalks and things like that. We are able to um, remove most of the rocks with the vacuum and a larger rock will adhere to the end of the hose and they'll just lift it out. And the roots are actually cut by the high pressure water up to about an inch and a quarter in diameter. If anything thicker than that, we just reach down with a saw and cut it. And we were able to tunnel under both front and back concrete stoops, as well as a sidewalk. So we get 100% coverage around the circumference of the foundation. So then we end up with a very precise trench. In the case of this house, four inches wide, about five and a half feet deep. And we're able to fill that with the appropriate amount of insulation. So then the next step is to create a form made out of rigid foam and, and furring strips that we attach to the foundation. In the cavity of the furring strips, we pour liquid foam that fully adheres both the rigid foam and the liquid foam to the foundation. That controls moisture. When we came to the windows, there were five uh, basement type windows. We just, uh, we filled them with rigid foam and then we spray foamed right over the top of them, creating a solid foam wall. So when this process is over and the foam is installed, the carpenters can just cut a hole where the window opening is and install their frame and their window member. In addition to the basement windows, we have other penetrations that are generally found in the rim joist. We put a tube the size that's appropriate for whatever element is going to run through that tube. We mount it into the rim joist before the foaming is done. They foam around it to make it all solid and airtight and watertight. Then each subcontractor can come and mount their element in that conduit and then we air seal that with foam after the fact. The liquid spray foam that we used is custom made for us by BASF. The foam has to be able to be pourable so that it goes down into a small cavity five feet into the ground. It has to be low rise so it won't blow out the forms and be moisture tolerant. We ran into an issue going down eight feet. It was too difficult to see the bottom. We couldn't control whether or not we were getting 100% foam coverage at the bottom. So our solution was to cut off the, the insulation, the rigid foam, just below grade, we had a better visual advantage, filled that with foam, and then put another piece of uh, form or rigid foam on top of that. Once we complete that second lift of liquid foam up to the top of the rim joist, and then what we have is a fully insulated foundation that has a thermal barrier, a water barrier, and an air barrier fully adhered to the foundation. We finish the insulation foam with a parge coat that's applied over a plastic mesh and then painted whatever color we, we want. And then that, the top of the insulation is covered with a, a piece of metal flashing 
that tucks up under the siding and runs all the way down to here. And then we fill in with trim to make it look good. When this house was acquired, there was water all over the basement, coming in all four walls, through the windows, through cracks, and it was very damp down here. After applying insulation all the way around the house on the outside, that has completely stopped. All summer long, it's been completely dry down here.